Earlier this year, I made a major change, which was to solve the biggest issue in my digital life, which was my storage, or I guess more accurately, the lack of storage. So enter in the Ugreen NAS Sync lineup, more specifically the DXP4800 Plus, and this provided ample storage and allowed me to basically ditch all of my cloud storage subscriptions. Now, when you hear NAS, you probably think of one of these guys right here, which is a big clunky box with the constant hum of spinning hard drives, but not this time. Let me introduce you to this, the Ugreen DXP480T Plus, which is a sleek and modern NAS built for speed and efficiency as it only uses NVMe SSDs instead of traditional spinning hard drives. Whether you're a creator or professional or someone who's just ready to ditch cloud storage subscriptions, this device can completely change the way that you access your data. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Ugreen who did send over the DXP4800 Plus earlier this year and I've been using it as my main backup and for all of my archives and stuff, but they also sent over the DXP480T Plus, which is a sleeker and faster NAS, kind of more tailored for active projects. So here's the plan. I'm taking this compact NAS and turning it into a photo and video editing powerhouse, basically just storing all of my active projects on this thing. And if it delivers, this might just be the ultimate storage upgrade for me as I won't need to purchase any more internal Mac storage. So Let's just see what this thing can do. Let's start with the design. The DXP 480T Plus is compact and small enough to blend seamlessly into your workspace. The all aluminum body feels premium and inside it features a 12th generation Intel Core i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM upgradable to 64 gigabytes for those who need the extra power. Around the back, you'll find a versatile array of ports featuring a 10 gigabit ethernet port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, which supports 10 gigabit per second speeds, and an HDMI port for direct video output. For storage, it supports up to eight terabytes per the M.2 SSD slots across the four bays, giving you up to 32 terabytes of blazing fast storage. The standout feature is its exclusive support for M.2 NVMe SSDs. And when you pair that with a 10 gigabit ethernet port, that essentially just means no spinning hard drives and extremely fast speeds. So why NVMe? Well, traditional hard drives are slower, louder, and can be less reliable when it comes to frequent random read and write speeds. NVMe SSDs, on the other hand, are silent and deliver crazy lightning fast speeds. No hum, no waiting for drives to spin up, just instant silent access to your data. So whether it's a large video project or an old photo in a photo library, everything is just ready at any given moment. For my setup, I upgraded the RAM to 32 gigabytes and loaded the NAS with two one terabyte crucial P3 Plus SSDs and then two two terabyte Samsung 990 SSDs. This gives me six terabytes of total storage with about four terabytes of usable space in a RAID 5 configuration. RAID 5 strikes a balance between speed, redundancy, and efficient storage use. The DXP 480T Plus comes with built-in fans to keep everything cool, but I do appreciate the thermal pads for even better heat management. For archiving older projects, I still rely on my larger DXP 4000 Plus, which holds up to 16 terabytes of traditional hard drive space, but can be upgraded to hold 112 terabytes. This two-tier system has completely transformed my workflow as the DXP 480T Plus handles all my fast and active storage, whereas the DXP 4800 Plus handles all my long-term backups. Honestly, it's made Apple's pricey internal storage a thing of the past for me. Setting up the DXP 480T Plus is super easy as you just install your drives, download the companion app, and configure your RAID setup. It's all very straightforward. The interface is clean, intuitive, and some may even say Apple-like, far more polished than the clunky software you expect from other NAS solutions. The storage manager gives you a clear snapshot of your drives, while the file manager lets you drag and drop files directly or mount the NAS as a location and finder. It feels like working with any external SSD. There's multi-user sharing and multi-device login, so you, your team, your family, can access the NAS from anywhere and everywhere, and the NAS is supported on the web, iOS, Android, and even on your TV. The mobile app is equally impressive. It's modern, polished, and easy to navigate as searching for files is a breeze thanks to the AI Smart Assistant, which can even search for text within documents and recognize objects in photos, and all of this without even needing an internet connection. Now let's talk performance. Editing 4K YouTube videos directly from the DXP 480T Plus feels as smooth as working off of any normal external SSD. Write speeds hit around 950 
megabytes per second, whereas read speeds hit around 900 megabytes per second, basically maxing out the connection, but you can actually reach peak speeds of 1250 megabytes per second. For example, transferring a 25 gigabyte video project over the 10 gigabit ethernet connection took just about three minutes. The fans kick in during heavy transfers, but for daily use, the NAS stays whisper quiet. In my workflow, the NAS gives me quick access to my old video clips. I can edit all my raw photos off of it, and it just sort of acts like a default storage spot on my Mac. It's like I've just added four terabytes to my Mac studio, but because it's on my network, I can access it from all of my devices anywhere and everywhere. The Ugreen DXP 480T Plus is a standout in the NAS market as it's compact, super fast, and also efficient, and just perfect for anyone who values speed in their storage solutions. It's all NVMe setup sets it apart from every other NAS, and really the performance just speaks for itself. If you're interested in any of the models from the Ugreen NAS Sync lineup, then hit the link in the description as there is 15% off for Christmas, which is valid until December 22nd on Amazon or Ugreen's official website. But what's your take? Are you ready to embrace the all NVMe setup, or does your workflow require something different? Let's talk about it in the comments section below. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and share it to a friend. And if you like Apple tech or desk setup related content, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.